I'm here at Daymac in Toronto, Canada. I'm with the founder, Aldo. How's it going, buddy? Not too bad, how's it going? I'm doing great, man. I saw these, I fell in love. Love at first sight. This is apparently the boomer buggy. That's right. Is that right? Okay, and then this is like the boomer buggy enclosed? Uh, covered. Covered, yeah. covered, okay, yeah. I mean, look at this thing. You know, it gets, it gets stormy here and snowy sometimes. It gets a little cold and uh, it's nice to have a windshield at those times and you know protection from the elements and water be splashing up on you that kind of thing and of course safety we've got mirrors we've got lights on these things there's a wheelie bar which i think is required for what, what did you call these for personal safety so you don't tip on that incline yeah right those now. extreme inclines right. but this is sort of like a personal mo mobility vehicle yeah it's a personal mobility you can actually use it to go to work people actually customize it with stereos uh, backup so i'm cameras. from america so can i drive it into walmart and get yeah, my groceries yeah. <laughs> it's technically the same as a mobility scooter that's what it's classified yeah. as and uh it's just uh so when it's kind of cold chilly uh, kind of a little bit colder in the states but sometimes yeah. sometimes yeah. so <laughs> you don't feel anything you turn on the heater play some music and uh out you go okay okay so we you're jumping ahead man you're talking about music and stuff i want to let's start at the low end here yeah. okay this is what was this, like a few grand is that right yeah this is about three thousand dollars three thousand uh, it's kind of the base model but this yeah. umbrella is that included yeah. or how does that work that's extra but you know uh, that's uh, you know that's for the summertime yeah is, look at that thing from the shade this is really cool i and i'm going to spend more time on the enclosed version but just to give you some idea you know there's four wheels it's got a 1200 uh watt motor kind of a canister drive you can kind of see it a little bit better on this one kind of right back there here's the wheelie bar we were talking about and then the the battery pack on these it sounds like sealed lead acid you can spend quite a bit more for lithium ion if that's you want but you know we've got 24 volts 110 amp hours so it's really heavy on the amp hours that's for capacity so you're gonna be able to you know get a little bit better range it sounds like 25 ish miles depending on the weight and all that stuff but uh, the top speed on these is it's closer to like a 10 miles per hour. Um, what did you say in terms of yeah. kilometers? Uh, about, uh, what are you talking, 12, 12 kilometers, like 8 to 10 miles an hour 8 max. to 10 miles per hour, yeah. And you know. you're getting, uh, actually, so you said this is 55H, that's the 110H. So that, it's about a range of about uh, 25 miles. Okay. Uh, or 40 kilometers, as Canadian. Very cool. You know, there's lots of options. I just wanted to give kind of a general, like, look at what this this yeah this is my future vehicle that's <laughs> yeah. why don't you hop in it i'd love to yeah, see I actually I like the, <laughs> yeah. door, but uh, this is great get uh, your feet down there and then yeah. you just pull one of the handles forward yeah. on that side forward. and reverse on forward. that side yeah. got the beeping thing here's yeah. the on and off or is that high and low that's turbo mode off and on turbo so, mode so, so oh man instead of three kilometers you're going like 10. So okay it's actually and you actually can adjust it to go very slow like if you're going in an apartment or house yeah you can go like one kilometer an hour so that that way you don't bang into things yeah right? and this goes both of them go actually through a regular sender door uh-huh uh so you actually so it's not through, too wide you can get it yeah, through it it's actually the maximum width that lets you into a, a single door pretty much uh any apartment standard so. entry that's yeah, great so. that's an adjustable seat stuff slides forward yeah, and back very very comfortable seat well, yeah, yeah, dude, this you is... Also, you, know, you have a bar so you don't bang into things too much. So you're getting off, so it's my turn. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, it's the future, right? So I'm getting... You need to learn. I need right? to... Yeah. I'm just getting ready is all. It, it is my birthday tomorrow, oh, so... Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm getting older. Okay, uh, get a cup holder so you, cup know, you holder. can your uh, coffee, your drink. Your non-alcoholic beverage. That's right. Non Look at that. Drink. Okay, and then we... Here, I'm going to... There we no go. No license or insurance required. No license or insurance. You pull, pull on that throttle nice and steady it's got good power too i think we were like messing around on some inclines and this one's a little bit uh it's you know yeah, yeah they, they real they quiet gray, so they don't leave uh, a mark on because uh, the black tire is actually more of a mark on certain so that's things. what the gray tires are for yeah, so they don't them into apartments and stuff here's the charging port right there okay so we've spent a lot of time on on this great boomer buggy but i want to do the enclosed for sure before i go there i'm just going to comment on the tires again um you know 4.1 by 3.5 so just really you know they're almost like square in a sense they're, they're really wide and that's kind of like on golf carts and stuff so that it won't leave like big marks yeah. or spin yeah. out the tires or anything okay so here we are with the enclosed i just love this i don't know is this like fiberglass yeah, or something fiberglass, yeah. fiberglass really cool paint job what colors do these come in uh, they come in uh, black uh, blue red and white black blue red or white and you can have like you know, mountains or wolves painted on the side. Like painted a Ferrari red because you know. Ferrari red. Oh you yeah. Three thousand dollars on the paint. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I love this. It's got these suicide doors. Look at that. They open from the front like that. This one has much larger tires. Okay, so 
They're uh, looks like four by six and they've got that nice tread. So this one struck me as like almost more off-road. You can see the suspension back there. It's really comfortable to ride in. There's a bottle in there and that's for actual like fluid that sprays up on the windshield. You've got a windshield wiper. I mean, it's just incredible. It's really cool what they've done with this. They lock, the windows roll up and down. So that's a quick look on the outside. Now I'm gonna just cruise inside here. There we go. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm loving this. There's a seatbelt as well. There's a seatbelt, oh sweet. And, so and a headrest. Practice practice. Yeah, <laughs> safety, I'm all about safety. So yeah, there's even room to like stretch your feet out a little bit more if you wanna do that right there. Here's the, uh, you know, roll up and down. I love that this actually has a heater built in. So you can turn that on. You know, that is gonna run through your battery more quickly, but it's it's ventilating right there. and. I imagine that would also act like kind of a defroster for your windshield if it was snowing. And I like that it's really finished. It's nicely finished inside. It's kind of a plastic liner. You don't feel like you're gonna be cutting yourself on any exposed fiberglass. There's padding on the side. You can kind of shake this thing around. You know, really, really cushiony. Here's the windshield wiper. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Perfect, lined it up. This is the speed dial that we were talking about before. So you can kind of fine tune it but uh, in general there's low or high so low or high right there we've got your headlights you can turn those on you can see your speed up here really fine increments on the battery level and then we've got an odometer there's even a vehicle lock so that's what this thing means it like locks the wheels and stuff so that you know you don't accidentally activate the vehicle when you're getting in and out unlock it hazards a horn just that beep thing which also sounds when you reverse there we go oh nice Okay, and now we're here we go in forward. So then we're in high right now, and it's, you know, it's we're up to 15 kilometers per hour. Hey, how's it going? This is sweet. I love this thing. You got the mirrors. Oh, he's following me. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, we'll just make a sharp turn. And as soon as you let go, it, it, it automatically starts to slow itself down. I love also that like if you only have one hand that works, you can go forward and back right there using just one side. So it's really, you know, thoughtfully designed. Here's the cup holder on this one. There's a little remote here for locking it and there's the charging port over here uh, next to the ignition. So very cool. Hey, there he is. How's it going? Pretty good. Looking good. Thank you. Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> That's sweet. You want to race? Yeah, sure. Let's race. Let's go. I'll give you a, I'll give you a head start. Okay, go, go. go. <laughs> well, I'm turning the turbo. Oh, no. Well, there he goes. Oh, yeah. He's having some technical difficulties over there. <laughs> Looking a little tipsy. It's this is fun. It's like a go-kart, but it's a, it's a little bit more power. Yeah. Look at that. This is great. I love it. So this one, the... Uh, boomer buggy covered this goes for like six grand and they can customize it what were some of those customizations you were talking about there Aldo here he's, he's gonna come back and and talk about some of those because there's a lot you can do there's the door again kind of just opens up very cool some people spend money on uh, the lithium battery upgrade yeah so it gives you like uh, either it's much lighter you can remove the battery pack mm -hmm. and uh, or double the range if yeah it's like go crazy that you get a 24 volt 220 amp power power lithium battery uh, the other one is the stereo okay so you can get some music going yeah, in there. yeah speaker stereo you can also get a backup camera so when you're backing up oh backup camera right we blocked it but uh, yeah actually, where does that it. mount is it like uh, no, it's actually very small. The camera is like this small, kind of and the right screen is there. over. It goes on top, right? Something. It's very. Uh, I'll show you on uh, LED lights. Yeah. Where do you put groceries and stuff if you're hauling with this thing? Yeah, that's. Uh, there's only very limited space either on the feet or right in the back. There's no basket. That's the only. But you can actually put two, three bags. It's a little bit of a shelf yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two, three bags in the back and a couple on the front, which uh, most people is is they find enough, right? But, oh, who uh, tends to buy this? Like, who's your primary customer? Yeah, these ones, are, I would say seniors that uh, like to get a ride, but they like to, you know, when it's getting a little bit chillier, they, uh, they, you know, it's a full machine and you can go anywhere. Uh, if there's no side, you're supposed to go on the sidewalk. Uh -huh. If there's no sidewalk, you're allowed to go on the road, right? So uh -huh. obviously on the side of the road because you're a slow moving vehicle. Yeah. And uh, but it's this is great, like because it gives you freedom. 
and uh, from the weather because you know you know you go outside with a mobility scooter it rains you're you have problems with this one you you're you're okay right you're not gonna get all wet and drenched well I like it man this is it's really it's pretty handsome too like the colors and stuff and um, pretty solid you have a what's the warranty on these uh, warranty uh, this one is uh, same, same one year warranty on the frame and uh, and motor and, and motor a, and six months on every other component every other component so. okay yeah I mean you guys have been around since it sounds like 2008 when you really started yeah. getting into the into electric bikes uh, electric 2009 bikes. it actually finally passed along on the electric bikes making them leave. and before that you've been working since 2002 on yeah, just so other stuff vehicles and well yeah it was tough because uh, when we started uh, electric bikes the um, they were not legal so it, they were legal to import legal to sell but you cannot ride them on the road Hmm. So it's a kind of complicated sale. And because, now it's uh, changed because yeah, if yeah, there is no changed, sidewalk uh, or whatever, you yeah, can... mobility scooters and e-bikes are all legal, no insurance, no license. Yeah, and, no license uh, or insurance. That's yeah, sweet because yeah, yeah, as you get really older, sweet. you know, it depends. Yeah, because you uh, might not have your license anymore. Right. So yeah, this is great because uh, I mean, you can go anywhere. Uh, so you're not blocked by, you know, transportation by weather. And, uh, yeah, you have and, some independence. Uh, yeah, so that's what uh, people buy, like freedom of going anywhere they want. And you can take the charger, so you could go somewhere that has electric vehicle charging, yeah, yeah, plug, plug in. You in. just plug it into a standard yeah, wall outlet. 110 volt, uh, and you get a charge uh, pretty, I mean, it's pretty quick. Like you, if you get the fast charger, it'll take you, give you 10 kilometers in an hour or whatever. So. Yeah, okay, an hour, you get 10 kilometers. Yeah. Um, it's probably like up like four hours or something, four to five, if yeah. you're like charging just with the basic charger yeah. at home. Uh, the other thing is, you know, how do you get this? How do you how do you get this to deliver it? Or yeah, what? we deliver it uh, with a uh, specialty truck because it needs a flatbed. Uh, it's a pretty big machine, as you can see, right? So, yeah. Uh, do you know how much that goes for? For the shipping, or you talking? Yeah, about just if someone buys this, it's six grand plus uh, how much for? Yeah, shipping the shipping is about uh, I would say about uh, five hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, almost most uh, places except for. You know, somewhere in uh, yeah, Hawaii. Yukon. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Hawaii. I know. It's a. I just wanted to give an idea. What's uh, <laughs> yeah, is this available in the U.S. too? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Like, uh, we we'll ship anywhere in North America. So okay. Canada and U.S. is pretty straightforward. This is sweet. So you know, technically, it's an electric. It's kind of like a velomobile or something. I don't pretty know. Much. Like, I mean, uh, it's like a small car. Yeah. You, there's no pedals or anything, no, no so pedals. it's all electric. It's just a little enclosed vehicle. That's the. That's the, the boomer. The boomer buggy. That's boomer right. buggy. I love it. Okay, well, thank you very much thank uh, you. For, for, for more <laughs> reviews on uh, light electric vehicles like this. I'll see you back at uh, electricridereview.com and, and ride safe out there. Stay warm. Cool.